Welcome to a storybook read aloud by Language Liftoff. We are reading the story Lola, the Bracelet of Courage. It is written by Sarah Cullen and Carmen Ellis, and illustrated by Susanna Svebadova. Let's begin. Lola the mermaid seemed very courageous. Some things that she did were just simply outrageous. She liked to tell stories of ghosts in the dark and to go on fast rides at the fun water park. But being this brave was not always the case. She used to be timid and felt out of place. Her dad said one day, Please come here, Lola, dear. I've got something special to help with your fear. This bracelet of courage with seashells and gold has magical powers to make you feel bold. When wearing the bracelet, she felt brave and strong and no longer thought that she didn't belong. One day, Lola went on a trip with her friends to the waterfall pools where the valley transcends. Of course, she would recklessly swing off the rope. She'd climb up the rocks and then slip down the slope. Then suddenly, Lola yelled out, It's not here! My bracelet of courage is gone! Dear, oh dear! She searched high and low, but gave up in despair. Then shockingly noticed her friends were not there. The current had also just started to turn. It's running too fast, Lola thought with concern. I'm so scared, Lola sighed, but I have to go back. Which way should I go? I must find a new track. It's as if all my strength has at once disappeared. Going home on her own was what Lola had feared. Why are you sad? asked a voice from behind. She turned around quickly and what did she find? She saw a gray dolphin with big friendly eyes and told him the tale of her bracelet's demise. I need to get home and you seem really nice. The dolphin just smiled before giving advice. Your breathing can help keep you calm without doubt. Just one deep breath in and then slowly breathe out. If you want to find strength, I will give you a clue. The courage you seek, you will find it in you. The path through the forest looked creepy and scary with kelp hanging down, very slimy and hairy. How she wished she could stop and just call it a day, but the comfort of home was still ages away. She closed her eyes shut and then entered at last. The kelp touched her skin and her heart raced so fast. She opened her eyes when she'd counted to three. There were sea urchins down on the floor of the sea. The urchins all smiled and then gave her a cheer. They sang her a song about conquering fear. If you want to find strength, we will give you a clue. The courage you seek, you will find it in you. She swam to the mouth of a jellyfish cave and then said to herself, you can do it, be brave. With one big deep breath, she then popped her head through and discovered a magical world in the blue where jellyfish sparkled in colors so bright they lit up the cave that was dark as the night. Before going further, she stopped to think twice. Then the jellyfish noticed and gave her advice. Think happy thoughts while you close your eyes tight. Try to summon your courage with all of your might. If you want to find strength, we will give you a clue. The courage you seek, you will find it in you. She was careful and wary, made sure not to touch, 
but this cave she had feared, she now loved it so much. She followed a brightly lit path homeward bound that led her right back to her house, safe and sound. Losing her bracelet had helped her to see that no magical powers had set her strength free. She had proven at last she was brave, she was strong. The courage has been in my heart all along. The end. Thank you for reading with me today, children. We'll read again next time. Goodbye.